Yesterday I was interviewing on Fox Business Channel there, and one of the things I was asked about was uh, reparations, and that the United Nations has decided that America owe black people reparations. So I was asked, what did I think about that? I said, no way. Black people not owe anything. It's time for them to start doing for themselves. I, um, and I got a lot of negative responses, some, a lot of good ones as well. I have with me Natasha Marion. Um, she is the woman behind the project reparations.me a social media experiment in which black post request. So black people go on this site and they post request for reparations. Uh, for, in parentheses here, for physical or emotional help. And whites offer favor. So you can go on this site and say, hey, I need someone, an example, I don't know if this is on there or not. Uh, I need hey, I need someone to come and clean my house. And a white person go on and say, okay, black person, I'll come and clean your house for you. I, I need to go on this site because I definitely need help cleaning my house. I'm Skyping with Natasha. Natasha, good morning, and thank you for coming on. Good morning. How are you? All is well. I appreciate you being here. Very interesting website, reparations.me. How did you come up with this idea, or why? I think the first thing I should say is that your summary may be misleading to people. Okay. Um, I definitely encourage people to actually go to the website and to click on the about page and just do the most fundamental research before sort of reacting. Um, the website is about bringing about healing in the present tense for um, many of us who feel like our spirits are a bit broken right now. There's a lot of racial tension in our country and many people don't feel like they can do anything about it. Um, they feel like the problem is too big and they don't feel empowered to, to do anything personally themselves. And so the idea behind my website is that each one of us can take some time and think about um, how we add value to our communities. And if you identify as white, which is certainly a decision that people make. Um, if you identify as white, then you can think about, is there anything that you can do to help those in your community who don't have the privileges that you have? Um, for instance, if you have a professional career, um, perhaps you could help somebody with networking. Maybe you could mentor somebody, look over a resume, maybe even... Um, take on somebody as a, like as a new hire who's looking for a job. Um, there are many ways to leverage your privilege. So the site is allowing people who may or may not agree with any of the philosophies behind the project to practice leveraging their privilege, which is something that all of us can do regardless of how we identify, because uh, privilege is intersectional. And so is it black people who are feeling that I mean, who are feeling that their spirits are broken? Um, are you are you a black person asking me, a black person, to speak for all black people? Because we both know how ignorant that is. Like, let's not do that. Is it, is it, <laughs> I can speak for myself. Like, will you say my maybe, experience is um, looking at the bombardment of negativity in the media, um, all the police shootings, the mass shootings, the school shootings. And if that's not getting you down, then you're probably not an extremely human individual. Because so, I feel like human suffering is something that we should all respond to. So are you saying that it's black people who are feeling that their spirits are broken? Are you asking me the same question again? You didn't Just answer the question. You. Black you went, you went black female on me. You didn't answer the question. You went nasty. Answer the question. Is it black? You said that there are people who are feeling that their spirits yes, let's are back broken. Let's up a little bit. When you say I went black female on you, yes. what exactly do you mean? You know how black pe females like you have a nasty personality, and when someone doesn't agree with them or, or a reasonable person, the black woman go female. You know, they go nasty. Just as you just did. I have so no I idea what you, you mean. I have a question for you, I though. Need you. No, um, no, I see no. you retweet Ann Coulter a lot. Does she ever retweet you? I need you to answer the question. 
Are you saying that... Did Ann Coulter retweet you, or does she think you're a nasty, lazy black man? Are you saying that... I'm just curious, because if I'm a going black female, then you must stay black male. Like, what does Bill O'Reilly have to say about you? What does Sean Hannity have to say about you? Or do they say anything about you? Because they probably don't care, because remember... All lives matter, right? Except for yours, if uh, you were held up by a cop. Are you saying Did I that? Start that crap with me? Like, uh, really? You think this is going to be a civilized discussion? You call yourself a Christian, and you want to start a discussion <laughs> by calling me names? Are you? Well, you need to go to school and grow up. This conversation is over. Uh uh-uh. uh. Are you about to run? She ran. She ran. Isn't that beautiful? Natasha Marin. What's her name? M-A-R-I-N. Did she run, James? Get her back. I think she ran. She's not coming back. Well, let James at least try. This lady don't want the chicken song, does she? Oh, and she just has attitude all over the world. Okay. We tried to get her back. Jay, uh, Andre, my engineer, is here, and he's trying to get her back. She ran. See, I told you these angry people, they can't handle inner truth at all. She, I think she ran. She's back. Natasha, you're back? Well, I don't know. Have you decided to be a mature adult who can have a conversation without calling names? Are you channeling Donald Trump today? I, I thought you ran, but I'm glad you didn't run. You're not a coward. Thank you for coming back. Um, a coward? Like what, a troll? Like you? I Somebody said, who calls people names and they don't even know what the person is, what their life experience is? Let me go back to my original question. Are you saying that it's black people who are feeling that their spirits are, are dead or hurt or whatever you said? Is it black people with broken Just spirits? one person. So what I do is I use my senses, common sense, one of them, to look into that, and I listen to the people around me, all people, because we are all human, right? You are a human being, I'm a human being. Um, The people around us who are seeing what's going on in our country are upset. The humans who are still in touch with their compassion and their hearts don't like to see kids being shot at school. They don't like to know that their sons and daughters could go out dancing one night and get killed in a nightclub. People don't like to know that you could get pulled over for expired tags and not live to see the next day. So let me Based go back. Let me ask this way then. Are ridiculous you say- as the color of somebody's skin. Are you saying that your spirit is broken? No, I'm not saying that my spirit is broken. So what's what the, I'm saying what's is the purpose there are rep- many people in this country right now of all identities who do not feel very good. They do not feel healthy and whole in the racial landscape. Why not? And those people are all different colors. And Every why kind of that, shade you could think of. Why, did, why is it that they don't feel healthy or whole? Because this country isn't healthy and whole right now. And, and if you can't pick up on that, then like I can't help people like you. Give me, give me an example of the country not being healthy and whole. Have you been paying attention to anything that's been happening in the news? Well, I see black people, not all, not all, but most, I see black people out of control, but that's due to the feeling of their parents and the lack of moral character. Oh, How, God. So you're basically a self-hating Negro. That's that's who you are, right? What do you, what do you mean by that? Like, you hate yourself. No, why do you say that? Um... Well, if you're about to start talking to me about quote unquote black and on black crime, I'm going to roll my eyes and hope that one day, you know, God blesses your heart, yours specifically. Um, and so let me ask reparation me. So black people can go on your site and ask for help from white people. How would that stop them from acting out in the manner that they're acting out? You know, we see a lot of thugs being killed by police officers. <laughs> you mean by this term acting out are you talking like timothy mcveigh acting out you talking jeffrey dahmer acting out you talking donald trump acting out what kind of acting out ann coulter acting out what kind of acting out where is all your hostility coming from why are you so angry am i angry are you angry you don't see that you have an attitude right now 
do I have an attitude? No, I, I said, do you see? Names. I said, do you but see? <laughs> See, I went to high school in the South, and I know probably a lot of your listeners are Southern. There's this little thing that we like to do in the South, and it's it's called politeness. It's called etiquette. So if I meet you for the first time, it's really quite rude and makes me look bad if I insult you the very first time I meet you. And you did that with me. And that's and why I you have are, no idea who that's brought why you, you up. That's why your name called you up probably didn't do a very good job if they didn't cover that part. That's why you right? name calling. So like when you have a guest, you should be kind to your guest. And that's why you know, like the Native Americans were when the white people invaded America. <laughs> I, I read that you are an artist. What type of artist are you? I'm a conceptual artist, but I'm sure you have no idea what that means. I absolutely don't. What does it mean? <laughs> It means the idea is more important than the uh, actualization. When I come back, we have some calls for you, and maybe you could be more reasonable with that. I'm glad you didn't put your tail between your legs and, and, and ran. Because you, I'm we, not a troll. We, we I have, use my hands to do good work. I'm going That's to give you I the do. chicken I'm song. not a troll. All right, hold on. We'll be, hold on. Right after this break. We'll take some calls for her, folks. She got issues. Natasha, you say you're an artist. A conceptual artist, right? Yes. Is it true that conceptual art is fake art? Well, I guess that would be up to you. How much do you know about art? I'm not, that's what I'm asking you. You're the expert in that area. Uh, is it fake art? Is radio fake media? <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself acting this way, girl. Really? Are you my daddy? Did you f*** my mom? Are you telling me what to do now? You are. You, my daddy, is that what this is about, Jesse Lee? You have a foul oh, mouth. Oh, come on now. Let's take some calls. Hold on. You know with a woman, you have no business telling me what to do. Keep it you clean. worry about yourself. How are your kids? Are you raising them? Keep it clean. Don't go. No talk nasty on the radio. You can't speak that way on the nasty radio. Nasty on the radio? Yeah. Who are you talking nasty to? You can't tell a woman what to do who you don't know Keep and it. expect that that's going to go well. Come on, ask a friend. Watch your ask mouth. Ask a friend. Call a friend. Watch your mouth. I'm sure your father would be embarrassed by you. Let's go out to Cleveland, Ohio and talk to Bessie. Bessie, good morning. You're on with Natasha. Oh, good morning. Natasha, I also want to thank you for coming back um, um, because I had a couple of questions I and I mean this sincerely I'm trying to understand exactly what you mean would you please define um, in your eyes uh, the word privilege when you say uh, you're giving an opportunity to those with privilege to give to others on an individual basis I'm sorry so your question is um, what is my definition I, I, privilege? Yeah, yeah. Of, of the word, yeah, I, I think... Oh. What's your definition, hold on, right, man. hold on, man. what's yeah. your definition of privilege? Right. When you say, yeah. So, privilege means different things to different people, and I think your question is a good one. Um, a lot of white-identified Americans, when they hear the word privilege, they think about luxury, so they think um, that privilege is referring to money specifically. And sure, economic class is one way of looking at privilege. Obviously, you you have more money than somebody with less money. That is a privilege. But privilege is intersectional, so it works on different levels. For instance, I have a master's degree. I don't think Jesse Lee Peterson has one. So in that Thank case, God. I would have Thank more God I don't privilege have one. than him. Um, because I could take that education and those critical thinking skills out into the world and help other people. So privilege okay, so is wait, really wait, complicated. Not, it's not the no, sort of okay. thing that's super cut and dry, like rich people have privilege and poor people don't. Um, if you're able to stand up and walk around, you have privilege over somebody who's less able-bodied than you. Uh, if you can vote, you have privilege over somebody who can't, who maybe is incarcerated and lost the right to vote. Um, okay. All right. Hold on, Natasha. Hold on. She got it. Hold on. Hold on. Go ahead. No, Go ahead. I think I, I just want to make sure. So Natasha, it's... It, it encompasses things like economic class, education, um, one's physical state. In other words, you know, if you're in a, a wheelchair, heaven forbid, or have a physical anomaly, uh, that would not be a privilege, right? And then one's ability to vote, uh, i.e., if one is a convicted felon, for example, that would be a lack of privilege. 
Do I have that? Um, you're, you're, you're in the area, you're in the vicinity. <laughs> Basically what I'm saying is privilege isn't like a one size fits all. Different people have different kinds of privilege, but white privilege is a privilege that's linked specifically to the color of your skin. So you okay. could be a really, really poor white person. You could be a disabled white person. You could be a gay white person. You could be a white person with no education and you would still have white privilege, which is the privilege, say, oh. to be pulled over for expired tags and not get shot and killed. Okay. All right. So two things. I know this This is going to sound... I have to... <clears throat> Real fast, uh, Bess, we come to a break. Go right to it. Oh, God, there's so much to say, though, Jesse. There's so much to say. I, you know what, I can't, I can't say it real fast. Is there any way, is your guest staying over or no? No, we have so many people who want to talk to her, Bess. You do have time. Just get to your okay. point. Okay. It, it, my point is is that one might look at someone like me, Natasha, who, uh, uh, who grew up not only in a poverty situation with a father who went to jail. I am white. He went to jail. We had nothing. We didn't have enough food in the house. I, we scrimped and saved. Yes, I worked myself up to, a, to earning a doctorate degree, actually, and have businesses. But I guess you would consider to me, me to be one of privilege, but you're also making the assumption uh, in a way that I'm not already helping those in need. And my lawyer tells me to give away 10% of my income. I get as close as I can to that. So when you say that this fight for people, it's making an assumption to me that I need to give more, and it, it's disturbing to me, in a sense. That's one thing. I want you to understand, too, that I actually am a white woman who did get expired. Bessie, your phone, your phone is not coming through clear. Your words are going out. I'm sorry. You're breaking All right. up. Well, okay, sorry. So, in other words, so. uh, Natasha, Bessie is saying that you don't know what you're talking about. So I'm, I'm, I want I to be kind to your guests. It, very differently than that. Women tend to communicate um, much more compassionately. Um, and <laughs> she was she was communicating her story um, very heartfelt um, in a very heartfelt man manner. And I and I heard that. Um, but as I said to begin with, Bethany, it's I'm not talking about um, the privilege that you get from your doctorate or the struggles you uh, went through growing up because you're in poverty. I'm speaking specifically to the privilege of your white identity. So if you and I go into a bank together with the exact same resume, the exact same financial background, and we go in for a small business loan, you're going to come uh -huh. out with a small business loan, and I'm not because you're white. No, That's because your okay, credit wait, wait. is not good. So I'm not making any assumptions because I don't Beth, spend time uh, doing that way Natasha. too busy actually helping people yeah. to make assumptions. I guess Natasha, Natasha. You, you won't get the loan because your credit is bad, not because of your color. No, even, I said if we had the exact same background financially. But then you'll get the loan then. You will okay. get the loan. Explainer. Why don't you do less talking over me and more listening? Natasha, okay? Natasha you will get the loan. Jesse, there there are laws against her not getting the loan. There are laws. Right. On the She's going back and to those, the nineteen fifties. And those laws, how do you think those laws are doing? Pardon are me, Natasha. Do you think they're working? Do you think the laws are working? Because you have a yes. PhD, you're not an idiot. You know what I'm saying? Like no, you... no, but neither, but neither is Jesse. A degree doesn't make me anything, Natasha. Look, let's face it. I, I'm able to really? go to school. So when you walk it's into like a room, you, you say that you have a doctorate. Right. You don't. Bessie, thank, thank you so much. Come on. Thank you. And so I'm not getting everything. Uh, we have some more calls for you. I need to take a quick break. But let me just ask Natasha, do you realize that you are on a serious ego trip that's going to hurt you in the long run? You're in denial. You, it's like you it's are. Like Donald Trump? You are an emotional. Like, it's like I'm going to be like suddenly like up for president of the United States. Do you like, realize, come on now. Do you realize, Since when does narcissism hurt people? Do you realize? I mean, you, hold on, Natasha, right? Hold How's on. it hurting you? Hold on. Do you realize that you are? I hardly have an entire radio show dedicated Natasha, to Natasha. Do you realize? And my wild do you realize thoughts. that you're an Hi. emotional bastard case? Natasha, you realize you're an emotional bastard case already? 
Oh, are you calling names again? Are you angry? Let's go. Jesse so. Lee, what would Jesus say about this anger? Are you a Christian? That is not how you treat your neighbor. Are you a Christian? Natasha, are you a Christian? Are you a Christian? Because I believe in treating people as well as you want to be treated. And Hold I don't spend a whole a lot break. of time Let me talking take a over break. people, calling Let's, them names, Natasha, especially when I break. don't know what they know. Let me take a break. We'll come back straight to the phones. Everybody and their mama want to talk to you. Back in a moment. Look like she has a child. Poor child. Natasha, I saw a little child there looking into the screen. Is that your son or daughter? Is that your son or daughter? Uh, <laughs> Is that a yes or a no? Are we, are we here to talk about my family? Is that what you want to talk about? Because I'm painting my nails. I asked, been... you, I asked before to break. Are you, are you a Christian? You, you, you kept mentioning Christianity in the last segment. Are you a Christian? I was asking you what Jesus would do if he, like, would, if he would be insulting his guests or, you know, would he be washing their feet? Are you a Christian? Are you a Christian? You acting like a five year old. Oh, are you acting like my daddy? Is that your deep dark fantasy? It, it sounds like you need it. You need your daddy. I'm sorry he failed you. Oh, what to, do you know about my dad? Let's you, go to Greg. Tell me one thing you know about my dad, because I know your dad didn't raise you. Well, I can tell he failed you. Let's go to Natasha. I mean Natasha. Greg out of Wilmington, Delaware. Greg, you're on with Natasha. Hey, good morning, uh, Jesse. Good morning, Natasha. How are you doing? Good morning, Greg. Uh, How are you? Doing good, thanks. I work in the uh, demographics business, and I learn a lot about, on the inside, what happens in terms of loans and getting into colleges and so on. And companies actually buy data because they're forced to make a certain amount of loans to blacks where they say, okay, we're stuck having to make more loans than we normally would have to, given their credit history and so on. So now let's find the best, least bad people to loan to. So they actually get more mortgages than other races. Then as it relates to education, and Thomas Sowell did a great study on this, Dr. Thomas Sowell, they actually get into a better level college than they should. It actually works against them because they end up at a school that's harder than what they should be at. Are you aware of those things? Are you a racist, Greg? No, I'm not. But are you aware of those things? How are you sure that you're not a racist? Yes. I'm sure I'm not. Are you not answered your question? No, no, I'm, twice. I'm asking you how. How you're sure you're not. Are you trolling right now? Because you just right said now? she sounds really are, are you, racist, you and alive? I wonder if, like, are, you just don't know that yeah, I, I can tell you. I can tell you how I can tell that I'm not a racist. Did are you alive? Did person tell you you're not racist? Is that how you know? No, I know from within the same way I know I'm alive. You know, you know from within. Okay. Are you trolling yeah. right now? Um, what's her name? <laughs> what's her name? Greg. Natasha. Oh, uh, Natasha. Uh, are you trolling, Natasha? I'm sorry. Yeah, and, what? And, and, and Latasha, oh, I've had this game played on me before by black people, and it doesn't work. And it's part of like it. Can uh, you hear him, Jesse Lee? Because I can hardly hear him. He's really breaking up. Great. I appreciate it. Hang your on. Call. This woman got Everything she, I she hear has, just sounds racist. She's, she has an issue, man. You're not going to be able to help her. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Uh, Natasha, do you love white people? Do you love white people? Let's go to uh, Jarvis out of uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Jarvis, you're on with Natasha. Hey, how you doing, man? Good, buddy. Hey, Jarvis. Hey, what's up, lady? Uh, let me ask you a quick question. I hear you on. I heard you on here. Call, uh, insinuating people without a degree was the dumb people. What is that about? I heard the word insinuate, the word degree. Yeah, you were acting as if people and without a what degree is that about? are dumb. I heard. Did you get it that time? I don't hear anything he right now, you, do you? Yeah, you can hear Hold me on. acting dumb. Now you, now you acting dumb. He said you insinuated that people without degrees are dumb. What is that about? 
Oh, go back and read the transcript, honey. I did no such thing. I was trying to convince hey, a woman lady, with a PhD a who didn't a think she had honey, privilege honey, that, in one. fact, having a PhD is privilege. That yeah. is a form of privilege. But I mean, I mean, you should be. I mean, you talking about yourself in your whole commentary. Then. So you really? privilege. Because I have a PhD. You know that about me. Yeah. According See, to what you said, much. that makes you privilege, right? You know According to me. all the stuff you just got to say, that makes you privilege, right? Right, correct. You're privileged right now to be talking on Jesse and the radio show. And what are you talking According about? According to what you There's just said, you're privileged, right? I don't want to hear none of that old extra nonsense you're talking about. According to what you said, you're privileged, right? Jarvis, we got to run. This woman needs help. She's not normal in the mind. Hold on. I mean, thank you Jesse for calling. We're going to take, my we're take one more call, and then we'll let her go because she's, she, a Christian. she's going off the deep end. Let's go to Delaney. Maybe she like Delaney. Delaney out of Oakland, California. Delaney, you're on with uh, Delaney. Natasha. Yeah. Hey, Oakland. first of all. Oh, hey, Natasha. First of all, I just want to say thank you for being brave going on the Jesse Peterson show. And please don't take him too seriously. I've gotten on this show plenty of times to walk circles around him. But but, but hold on. I just wanted to let you know. Delaney, I got to appreciate it. Natasha, I got to let you go. You're a waste of time. My heart goes out to you. You have a lot of anger, and I feel sorry for you. Is that your child there with you? I know you want to help me with you're my gone, anger, Jesse, because you've been talking about all the draw, things that I need to do. You want to tell me to do some things, don't you? Thank you like for a coming on. Thank you for coming How on. How do you keep all those I concerns you, well. you have about me Goodbye, to Natasha. yourself? Goodbye. Goodbye. Get lost. Wow, what an evil black female. Wow. Look at her. She's still running off at the mall. This is what uh, young black children have to deal with, folks. This is what you're dealing with in the rioting that's going on around the country. This is what you're dealing with in the, in the uh, marketplace, the jobs. These people got this evil attitude, and they hate white people. They don't, hate, they don't love anything that's good. Can you imagine? This woman is totally, she's gone. These are the kind of people, this woman is the type of person that's out there looting, killing cops, Black Lives Matter type of person. It's so unfortunate. It is really, I feel sad for her. I really, really do. She is mentally and emotionally gone. She's not open to dialogue at all. She hates Ann Coulter. She hates Bill O'Reilly. She hates Sean Hennedy. She hates um, uh, Donald Trump. She hates Jesse Peterson. She hates all good people. Her father is the devil. Natasha, that is terrible. But it's a good experience. I'm glad the world can see it. 